she put him in she there. Really puts work into <laughs> crafting it with the Easter eggs, which oh, is really she, cool. Like every album release, she does like she, the letters, the letters, the letters that flash on the screen. I could never figure out. I never even try to figure out what they are. I'm just like wait for somebody else to do it. And I'm like, oh, okay, that's the new album name. Yay. <laughs> I love Lauren. Lauren may give it, give it Taylor a whole lot of credit. Yeah, it's like one person is going to have like a hundred views on YouTube of the video because they're trying to figure out the stupid little puzzle. The yeah, she knows that too. It's a PR stunt to get more views. Mm-hmm. Plus it is a fun little thing for her fans though. I have to say it's, it is, you know, like, I liked her TikTok when she was like, she did the whole fall thing about all her favorite. That was so basic, but so cute. It was like, so Lauren and Teresa. (laughs) As we're here wearing our cozy Taylor scarf and winter (laughs) gear. Another one. I mean, I just think the whole setting of being fall and like, it was very like folklore evermore. Like they were at a lake. Um, it was fall. That also ties into the song all too well. When she was dating Jake, it was the fall. There's a lot like about autumn leaves falling. That's the lyric. Right. Leaves are everywhere. Um, there's also some ties to champagne problems I noticed, which is kind of weird. It's a different song about a different thing, but there's like, um, there's a part of it that kind of just like gives champagne problems vibes, which that's also a song written about November and, and plaid and flannel. Yeah. And, then, <laughs> and, um, and at the very end, so like he's wearing the scarf and he's looking in and the girl turns into Taylor Swift, the girl in the video, Sadie Sink. She becomes yeah. Taylor Swift with the red hair wig. And it's, she's at a book tour or a book signing. And the guy is looking in through the window, wearing the scarf from the song. And obviously this is years later, but she wrote a book. So it's like, is she going to write a book in the next like couple years? Oh. So yeah. that, that's like. Look, Teresa didn't even know any of these. She's like, hmm. I don't, I don't, I'm not that smart, guys. I'm yeah, not- I know, me. <laughs> We're just like, oh. That's all I got. There are probably like, I've seen articles that talk about like tons of them. But Yeah. Um. Okay, so I wanted to ask you guys. Oh, I just lost it. It was another question about one of her songs that I was wondering, like, who is she talking about? Wait, so do we think she's going to do, like, music videos for, like, all the popular ones? Because she does do lots of videos. Like, I I know. She's very creative that way, though. Yeah, I think she enjoys that aspect, too. Can we also talk about... (laughs) The Saturday Night Live performance? Yes, I, she, her voice was cracked a million times. Okay, I thought it was fine, but I don't really know a lot about vocals. I, I've i seen Taylor perform. Her voice is not her strong, her, her lyrics, that's what she's, her marketing is what she's telling. Right, she's no Adele when it comes to the singing. Let's face Absolutely. it, we know that. Adele yes. has an amazing voice. Just like Madonna was not a great singer, but she was a great, you know, performer all, all around, um, I don't know what you would even call it, but yeah, she was definitely pushing boundaries with like what she wore and what she sang about. Right. Um, so the Saturday Night Live performance, she's like the first person to do one song that's 10 minutes instead of doing two performances, how they right. do it. Right. And like, she played the video in the background. I thought it was really cool. Like, oh no, uh, I total it. Taylor vibes. <laughs> no, no, it was good. I, you know, but it was, I was like, oh yeah, her voice, you know, she, she just does it. She doesn't have a great voice. She's, uh, you know, she. I mean, she I, has at least an average voice. But the best thing about <laughs> no, but the the best thing about Taylor, her t- her music and uh, other singers that aren't, you know, vocalists that they're more singer like more singer songwriters, is that it makes it so easy for people to sing along and do karaoke too. You know what yeah. I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, how many people are really going to be able to do karaoke? Uh, with Adele or that aren't professional Rick, singers yeah <laughs> you know but I think Taylor's songs everybody can kind of sing along and still feel kind of like oh we're killing it but yeah you know what I mean I get you on that one yeah 
Yeah. Well, you want to move on to Adele since you watched the. Yes. Let's talk about Adele. Uh, so I did watch it. You guys didn't. What about you, Jen? No, that was the South Lake or um, Salt Lake City. Big oh, we need to, that to oh shit. Story. We need to talk about that too. I had to watch that. Oh my God. Wait. You know what I don't understand about Adele? Her voice is so beautiful, but her accent is absolute trash. She's and she has got the so Jen. What do they call that? Like accent? Uh, We've is it? It's so harsh. Like what is it's it? A hackney or something? I don't know. I'm, <laughs> what's it called? Hockney. And that's so like her accent. Yeah, it's like um when you're poor, like a slang. Well, yeah, and it's from the part of England she's from. It's like, um, like East Coast Canada is very slangy, or like, I don't know, like Alabama. Or like for us, it would be right in the states where you can't understand what they're talking about. Yeah, right. No, exactly. I, I know we have discussed that before because you know my ex husband is from uh, Sicily, and his, his it's a dialect is totally mm -hmm. like he does. They don't understand him if he's up in in northern italy they're just like they don't even know what he's talking it's like about. a whole different language yeah and he speaks that like it's like a slang so or dialect different dialect so yeah so hers is like so eh, eh, i don't even like it's it's rough she's like rough rough mm -hmm. around the edges and i love that though like it's okay so i'm gonna i watch the special so let me give you my thoughts which were not popular opinions by anybody i was texting with during that that was a fan of hers um so again that rough slang she talks like a fucking truck driver which is right up my alley I love that right she doesn't smoke anymore I think she quit but she was like a freaking drink oh she basically admitted she drank way too much and smoked cigarettes she smoked cigarettes and still had that voice yes that isn't that you know what she might even still smoke Jen I'm that's, not positive yeah, that's how you get that voice I will don't Teresa, say we can keep smoking and we will have brilliant voices it's okay we won't all sound like Tyler Strecker <laughs> you smoke Jen occasionally Anyway, no, um, I mean, I knew Jen smoke, but I'm just like, yeah, to smoke. I don't know. But anyway, she didn't. All right. Let me give you my first thought. So she came out dressed in this most, you know, obviously she is so classy, but I guess she is. Yeah, always I have one more question. yeah. So who got to go to this concert? Don't get don't get Cindy started. <laughs> so. I, right, it's this little performance, and I don't know. She was some the observatory. Yeah, yeah, observatory. yeah. It was and a beautiful place. Beautiful, yeah. and now she comes out and she's you know diva up. But then I didn't want to be like, oh, suddenly now you're a diva. And then I'm like, wait, she always did had that classy diva look. But then when she opened up her mouth, it was like, whoa, what the fuck is that? You know what I mean? They don't match, you know. But the entire audience was like all these heavy hitters like Ellen, Melissa McCarthy, Lizzo, all the late night talk show. There was all rich, famous people in the in the little bit of the audience she had. And I was like, oh, she's doing a performance for all these snotty people. Like, I, I don't know the whole thing. But then I thought, well kind of she is putting out a new album so to have all the late night talk show people there James Corbin they were all there I guess you're I don't know it just felt very like Hollywood and very yeah what's her politics because somebody said I can't stand her politics and I'm thinking like I never even paid attention she's not American it was probably something to do with Brexit and which way she wanted England. Like if she wants them. To oh, be so it was all right. It wasn't our politics because she's not. I can't imagine like she right. probably doesn't care. Right. So oh, I don't know. Well, who are you talking to, Cindy? Because the first article tied is titled. I'm not reading this. It says Adele tells Donald Trump, Donald Trump to stop pinching, pinching her song. Is that some? Oh, probably like like stealing 
he was probably using oh, her. Oh, because she don't her. want him using her goddamn lyrics for his yeah. stuff. Uh, so that was, she's that not the only person that got pissed. Yeah. Don't, no, that's nothing to yeah. do with her politics. Everyone gets pissed. Everybody, like a ton of people got pissed when yeah. Chuck was using their music yeah. because they don't want. Yeah. yeah. Oh, she endorsed Hillary Clinton for president. Yeah, she said 100%. Oh, wait, but let's see what she commented on Brexit. It's a bit I'm weird, the stuff that's going on at the moment. <laughs> that's a quote. <laughs> I just read something in Newsweek and she said she she doesn't know anything about American politics. I mean, I'm British, you know? <laughs> so, there you go. Right, so, all right, so that's okay. So I don't know the whole thing, I guess, because I've been listening to red all week and I was traveling when red came out. So I had listened to it on the plane over, you know what I mean? So I just felt like I just, maybe Adele just didn't have a place in my heart, but that doesn't mean Jen, she won't be back in my heart by Friday. Sorry. Just hang on one sec. <laughs> They had a hashtag that was boycott Adele because in her hello video, she pours hot water into her teacup and then she drops the tea bag in. British put the tea bag in and then they add the hot water and they were right pissed off that she did it backwards in her video. <laughs> the water goes in after the tea bag, Adele, after. <laughs> Great new song and all, but you put water in the cup first and then the tea bag, you heathen British problems. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Oh, so yeah. she did sit down with Oprah and, um, you know, she talked about how she just wasn't happy while she was married and like her diet weight loss was not something that she completely planned basically she quit drinking and um, just decided, you know, to get physically healthier. Like she likes to work out now and lift weights. And um, I, I, I would imagine, she, I think she was a heavy drinker. So I would imagine she just switched one addiction for another, which unfortunately oh, yeah. didn't That's happen to me. I not drink. Huh? You can't be that sad all the time and not be drinking. Well, she's happy now. So everybody was saying like the new thing is like her next record is going to be great and happy now because now she's happy. So she's she not about, it? Uh, she said no. Oh, she's, oh, I thought she was with that guy for like, a. doesn't she have a bait? Oh wait, she had the baby with her old husband. That's Simon, right. right. But I thought she's been dating someone for like the past two years. No, I thought. I thought she got with somebody right after she had the baby and I thought she'd been with him forever. Yeah, because I think she divorced that man or separated from baby man like very early on. And like, yeah. Well, baby. Yeah, I, I mean, that it, was took her, it took her over a year to lose all that weight. But oh, I yes. knew, okay. she, she lost did like say a fourth it. brother. Her boyfriend, whoa. Sorry. <laughs> her boyfriend is sports agent Rich Paul. He's rich, rich, probably. Sports agent, yeah. Okay, he represents LeBron James. So yeah, he's got money just from that one client. Right. But okay, apparently this is kind of like a thing just this year, which I, again, I thought she was dating some guy seriously for like the past couple of years, a new guy, but okay. Well, maybe she is single by now because this article is July. Yeah, I mean, she said it was really hard to meet people dating and like she can't really use the app. I don't know. I guess I didn't pay attention close enough, but it didn't sound like she really talked about having a very serious boyfriend. Um, yeah, I was bored after I watched like a couple of questions. So I turned it off. Yeah. But, you know, since we're on the whole entertainment thing, um, anybody watch Dexter, the new Dexter? No, but I'm very excited for it. Are they dropping the whole season or is no, it? No, just there's two episodes are out already. So if you, you want to hold off, but Jen, I'm watched the first two and it's amazing. So is Wait. this picking up from where the other one ended? Yes. 
How did the other one end? He was in that wait, forest. Wait, 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 guys. I've never you, watched one Dexter. Yeah. Me either, but I'm not. 